Hello, welcome back to pronunciation learners to another tutorial of English phonetics and pronunciation. Let's learn how to pronounce these seven words implode, implosion, explode, explosion, flaneur, phlegm, phlegmatic. Let's go back to the first word and study its sounds in a simple way. Implode. This word is a verb. It's a disyllabic word. It has got two syllables. Implode. The second syllable, plode. That's the stressed syllable. We put the stress there. We say implode. Implode. The noun is a second word. It's a three syllable word. Implosion. Implosion. The second syllable also plo. That's the stressed syllable. We say implosion with j sound in the end. I repeat, the verb is implode, a disyllabic word, stress on the second syllable, plode, and the noun is implosion, a three-syllable word, stress on the second syllable, plo, implosion, implode, implosion. The third word is somehow similar, explode, explode. It's also a disyllabic verb, explode, stress on the second syllable, explode. And then the noun, word number four, is explosion. Explosion is a three syllable noun, stress on the second syllable, explode. We say explosion. I repeat, explode, explosion. The verb is explode, the noun is explosion. What's the meaning of explode or implode? They are somehow similar but with slight and specific difference. To explode is uh, to burst, to destroy by a force from the outside. That's the meaning of explode. But implode is somehow very specific. It is a kind of destruction, but from the inside, from within, which means that from a force from the inside, to burst from inside and go outside. That's called implosion, like the existence of the universe. It's a matter of implosion. Big Bang is a matter of implosion and not explosion. Again, implode, implosion, explode, explosion. The fifth word in today's video is a flaneur. Flaneur. It's a disyllabic word, it's a noun. Flaneur is a saunter or a person who walks in a relaxed manner. It's called the flaneur. So that's on the second syllable, ner. Flaneur. And then the sixth word is a flam. Flam, as you see, the G letter is silent. We say flam, and the flam as a noun is a monosyllabic word, just one syllable, flam. As I said, the G letter is silent, a mute letter, flam. It's a kind of substance forming in the nose, especially when having a cold. That's flam. The last word is the adjective phlegmatic. Here the G is pronounced phleg, phlegmatic. It's a three-syllable adjective, phlegmatic. Stress on the second syllable, ma, we say phlegmatic. And being phlegmatic is mean, I say, steady, so calm, composed, or unemotional. That's the meaning of to stay phlegmatic, especially in difficult or in nervous situations. Phlegmatic, unemotional. Phlegmatic, a three-syllable adjective, stress on the second syllable, ma. Flam, the noun, phlegmatic, the adjective. Now let's practice from the beginning. Implode, implosion. Explode, explosion. Flaneur, flam, phlegmatic. Phlegmatic, flam, flaneur. Explosion, explode. Implosion, implode. These are the words of today to learn how to pronounce. See you next time with further practice of English pronunciation. Twisty Soundy Sounds Pro 369. Improve your English pronunciation. Goodbye.